design view gives you more control over the query you create than the query wizard does. To open the query designer, click on create tab in the ribbon. In the queries group, click on query design. You will see two windows. The underlying window is the query designer. The floating window is the add table dialog box. If you don't see the dialog box, click on add tables in the query design tab. You can also right click anywhere in the query designer window and select show table from the menu. You can move and pin the dialog box to the main window. The add table dialog box displays the tables and queries in the database. Double click on the table to add it to the query design. You can select a table and drag it to the query designer. To add multiple tables, select the tables and click on add selected tables button. To remove a table from the query designer, right click on the table and select remove table from the shortcut menu. The query designer consists of two sections, the top table query pane. This is where tables are queries and their respective field lists are added to the queries design. You will see a separate field list for each object. Each field list contains the names of all the fields in the respective table or query. You may want to resize a field list so that all of the table's fields are visible. You can resize a field list by clicking on its borders and adjusting the height and width by dragging. You can resize a field list by double clicking on the edges. You can move the field list around the query designer by grabbing the title bar of a field list window where the name of the table is with the mouse and dragging the field list. Join line connects tables in the query designer. The join line represents the relationship between two tables. In this example, a join line goes from the table orders to products, connecting product ID in orders to the product ID field in products. The bottom part is the query by design. The design grid holds the field names involved in the query and any criteria used to select records. Each column in the design grid contains information about a single field from a table or query contained within the upper pane. The two window panes are separated horizontally by a pane resizing scroll bar. Click and drag the bar up or down to change the relative sizes of the upper and lower panes. To add a field to the query, double click on the field name in the table in the top pane of the query designer. The field name immediately appears in the first available column in the designer grid. You can also drag a field from a table in the top pane and drop it on a column in the designer grid. Dropping a field between two fields in the designer grid pushes other fields to the right. Each cell in the field row of the designer grid contains a drop down list of the fields from all the tables contained in the upper pane of the query designer. The field is prefixed by the table name.
Select the table to filter the fields displayed in the fields cell. Select products and only fields from products table are shown in the drop down. You can add multiple fields by selecting the fields from the field list window and dragging them to the designer grid. The fields are added to the designer grid in the order in which they occur in the table. You can also add all the fields in the table by double clicking the field list header to highlight all the fields in the table. Then drag the highlighted fields to the designer grid. Alternatively, you can double click or click and drag the asterisk from the field list to the designer grid. Although this doesn't add all the fields to the designer grid, the asterisk directs access to include all fields in the table in the query. The downside of using the asterisk is that the query returns all the fields in a table regardless of whether every field is used on a form or report. You also have no control over the order in which the fields appear in the data sheet. The advantage of using the asterisk for selecting all fields is that changes to the underlying tables don't require changes to the query. After selecting the fields, run the query by clicking on run in the query design tab in the ribbon. To go back to the design view in the home tab, click on view and select design view. You can also right click on the tab header of the query and select data sheet view to run the query. When you run a query, the field names that are displayed are the field names that are specified in the table. If you are using fields in the query from two different tables which have the same names, then the field names are prefixed with the table name. You can change the field names that are displayed by the query in the query designer. Enter the field name you want to display followed by a colon before the field name in the field cell. For example, product ID is changed to product. You can see the product ID is changed to product. To view the SQL behind this query, in the home tab, click on view and select SQL view. The display name given to the field is part of the SQL. There is another way to change the display name of the field. Right click on the field name and select properties from the menu or select the field and click on property sheet. Enter the field name you want to display in the caption row. The display name is shown when you run the query. Go to SQL view and see that this is not part of the SQL. Go to the design view, click on save, enter the name for the query. You can see the query in the navigation pane. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.